All right, here with Chris Gabe Hart. First off, did you think the three like what what did it look like to you that happened there? Uh, I mean, it what it looked like was he he drove into turn three way harder than any car could safely make the corner. His intent wasn't to make the corner, and he got in the back of twenty two, and they got into a mess, and you know got way up the hill, and eleven turned underneath of him off the four because we were at a speed where we could make the corner, and and then uh, you know clearly the three had regained control and and right rear us. I mean, I've, I've been, I've been racing professionally for, for 30 years now. I, I mean, there's just, there's no reason to sugarcoat it. That's what happened. What, what do you think should be done? Like, do you think it should be taken away? Do you think it will be taken away or any kind of penalty? Or, like, what do you think is the, the, the justifiable thing to do? Yeah. I mean, they've certainly set precedent over the last couple of years. Um, you know, you got Chase Elliott at Charlotte with Denny, right rear hook. You've got, Bubba Wallace with Larson um, at Vegas, I think it was, right rear hook. You've got Carson Hosen Bar uh, in a truck race, right rear hook. They've penalized all those guys. Um, and listen, NASCAR's in a tough spot. You know, they, there's a lot on the line, uh, every one of these cup races. So, you know, they've got to go through data, SMT data and video footage and spotter audio. I'm not going to get into specifics, but there's going to be plenty to of data for them to find that I think will be pretty convincing that this was also an intentional right rear hook. And, um, y you know, yeah, for the integrity of the sport, if that's what it's deemed that it was, I don't see how you can let the wind stand. That just doesn't, at some point, it's either got to be a sport or it's got to be, you know, wrestling. And, and those kinds of dangerous moves are just deemed acceptable. And that's what you teach. That's what you teach young racers uh, coming up, that that's okay to do. And I, I just... That takes our sport in a really bad place, and frankly, I think it, I think it's already gone a little too far. And, and you know, you, yeah, it, if they deem it to be a, uh, um, intentional, I don't think there's any choice but to take the win away. And I'll, I'll send you out on a, a more happier note, I guess. Like the the tires, what what was it like calling this race? Like had to be different from any race you've ever called. Yeah, Richmond races are so tough strategically anyway because of the unique lengths of the stage, how many sets of tires you get, how much fall off there is, it always sets up a lot of stage dynamics. Uh, one stop, two stop, caution comes out now, what do I do with my tire allotment? You throw in an option tire on top of that that clearly had its advantages and my head was hurting. I mean, someone asked me, another reporter asked me on pit road to, to talk through the, the option tire and I'm like, I can't. Uh, there's no way. I need to decompress. I don't know. It was hard. Uh, absolutely no question about it. It, it was hard. Um, a, a whole different dimension for sure. Right, thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Kevin Nix with FrontStretch.com. Come back soon for more great racing videos, and if you like us, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.